Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The company that we have chosen is National Airlines. For your information, National Airlines is established on 1st May 1947. Before this, the application is National Airways. And now, the application is National Airlines. National Airlines is holding company for Malaysia's National Airlines carrier. And National Airlines also have several subsidiaries that can contribute in their company's income, which is like mass mass airline, mass cargo and mass wing. This can uh, enhance their profit and also can get many customers even though in other countries. The first problem that faced by uh, Malaysia Airlines is that uh, how they want to improve their brand image and how they want to change uh, public's uh, perception toward the brand. Increasing issue in technical failure. Malaysia Airlines were bombarded with challenges for the past few years and the company is struggling to finding uh, ways on how to fix the damage. In addition to the issue, recently there were few cases recorded in the news that few flights were forced to land due to technicalities. The second one is financial status. Certainly, the first half of 2014 has been desperate for Malaysia Airlines with missed revenue target, an effective advertisement campaign and of course the tragic circumstances surrounding MH370. The financial impact has been clear. There has also been a sustained decline in the company share price uh, which lost 21% uh, in the August 2014. Indeed, issue mentioned above have affected Malaysia airline image. The perception of the world toward, towards the brand uh, somehow will be one of the major problems that the company need to take action fast. Issues such as technical failure will make the customer lose their trust towards the brand. While safety are taken into priority, the service, um, this problem is a sensitive issue that should be tackled by the company fast. One of the alternatives that Malaysia Airlines should do is to develop a flexible crisis response cap capability. First, they need to acknowledge their mistake and learn from it. Identify what is the key to the problem by taking any possibility into measure. They also need to conduct post-mortem to identify the answer to the questions. Always demonstrate concern, control and commitment to ensure that whatever lesson can be learned are. And the last uh, alternative would be uh, to repos reposition the brand. Malaysia Airlines need to change uh, the public perceptions. Perhaps the biggest challenge faced by the airlines uh, is its association with two doom flight where the event that are likely to be remembered by potential customer. Malaysia Airlines must review their sales policies, process and system. Malaysia Airlines must understand uh, that customer built um, brand, not advertising department. The new strategy must focus on the customer and they need to be creative and innovative in order to recover and strive forward. The first issue is uh, disappearance of a flight MH370 and the crash of MH17. MH317 was disappeared on 8 March 2014, uh, which uh, after departing from KL to Beijing. And crash of MH17 was, seven, uh, was on 17 July 2014, which is five months after the incident of MH317. So it was caused a several problem to a Malaysian airline. One of the one of the problem is ethical issue. Uh, what we can see from the ethical issue uh, that had faced by Malaysian airline is the return over and downsizing of an employee. This will give an impact uh, throughout the reaction pattern, uh, and this can be proved from. Uh, uh, this can be proved that almost 200 cabin crew already quit because of uh, this inc incident and uh, family pressure. So they feel pressure to fly uh, after the boat accident. So the first symptom is uh, many worker is quit. Uh, as I mentioned before, almost 200 cabin crew was quit. Uh, due to this shortage, the remaining uh, employee uh, were forcing to work 
uh, woke up on 12 hours a day. Uh, the second in symptom is facing a uh, turbulence at first face, facing financial turbulence. In second quarter of 2013, Mars had lost almost 307.4 million and after disappearance of MH370, uh, the company stopped the company stock down about 20%. So because of this uh, problem, uh, mass, uh, uh, mass were forcing to uh, to cut off uh, 6,000 of uh, staff to recover this problem. Okay. The next is uh, number of tourists ter decrease. Uh, most from, it can be seen, uh, mostly from a Chinese, uh, from a Chinese, uh, more than 300, yeah, sorry, 50 percent of uh, cancellation were from uh, Chinese. Some of them we are willing to pay above to to book other airline rather than a mass uh, offer. To overcome this problem, uh, Malaysia airline can do three alternative uh, three alternative the first alternative is encourage to way communication uh, so top management uh, must play their role to motivate their employees the second alternative is allowing employees sabbatical give uh, which is give employee relax and travel while pursuing them to not leave the company uh, the third alternative is increase economic contract. What is economic contract? Economic increase economic contract is increase monetary reward. Okay, uh, Malaysia Airline also can increase economic reward, for example, like job security. So employee, uh, which is uh, sorry, which is uh, it will give a, the benefit for them. Uh, if an uncertainty situation occur, so employee uh, will consider to stay and give a commitment uh, to the company. The first, the third issue regarding major airline is poor customer service. Major airline need to, need to understand what customer demand uh, from their services in order to better serve their demanding needs and wants. Uh, and achieve the highest level of satisfaction. The symptom regarding this issue is treat customer without manner. Uh, for example, uh, when the customer went to the receptionist, the, recep the, recep the receptionist may ignore them or uh, might think the things that they want to ask is troublesome. Uh, and this will bring the bad image to major airlines uh, as people will talk bad about uh, about their services. In order to overcome this problem, uh, we come up with some alternative. First is get feedback from public regarding major airlines. Uh, there are there are two uh, things that influence uh, customer. That is empathy. Empathy is allied to major airline cares and provides individualized attention to their customer in order to make the customer feel valued and special. The second one is uh, worth of mark where people that already experience the service talk either positive or negative regarding the service to another customer and the customer will evaluate and this will bring the image of the major airlines. Uh, then major airlines need to do a uh, corporate social responsibility CSR. Well CSR is very important because we live in democratic uh, societies where uh, public concern with their surrounding so major airline needs to take a good care of their organization and then the th alternative is get more training regarding customer service uh, the top management need to give the best training to their employees so that uh, their organization uh, will give a good image to public regarding this issue uh, the symptom, the second symptom, the second symptom is quality of works, where we can apply theory X. Theory X uh, mentioned that.
the employee does not like work and try to escape whenever possible. Uh, we can see theory X in Malaysia Airlines organization. A close supervision is required on parts of managing Malaysia Airlines. Many employees rank job security as important and have no ambition. Employee of Malaysia Airlines generally disrupt responsibilities and resist change. The problem that may occur regarding this symptom is absenteeism and tardiness. High turnover of of employee, a high of absenteeism and turnover can cause serious problem to Malaysia Airlines. The most absences are paid leave, which means even though production is down, labor costs remain the same. Uh, for example, although top management suspect that many of their employees are abusing their sick leave, they still cannot to prove it. In order to overcome this problem, uh, there are some alternatives that is give rewards to employee. Uh, we can give rewards by uh, using Adam's equity theory, it focuses on individual perceived relationship between the outcomes they receive from their organization and the inputs they contributed to their organization so that they will become more motivated and do work passionate, passionately. Uh, and then the second alternative is by doing uh, get rewards of overtime. Uh, when people do overtime, they need some recognition, bonus, promotion. So that uh, they are more, more so that they have they they are more patient in doing their work. The third one is dealing with tardiness to motivate workers to arrive at on work uh, to arrive at work on time. Organization must create an encouraging environment. Give employees several logical reasons or rationales to arrive on time so that they can. I uh, realize the value in doing so. The symptom is Malaysia Airlines may lose their profit as the organization uh, wanted to produce more profit. So uh, the problem from this uh, and maybe a uh, employee retention where major airline facing with some problem that is employee resign and work with another company, most organization might face the same situation. There must be reason why employee act like this. As employee is expensive asset to the organization, Malaysia Airlines needs to take care of their employees so that the employee won't change to another organization. Uh, the alternative that we must take is give an appreciation of loyalty to employees. Uh, as employees want to know they are valuable, when people feel value and appreciate, they are more likely loyal and employee loyalty is the key to a successful business. Uh, the second alternative is by doing companies' activities such as family day, where uh, well top management and their employee can have some fun together and get no to, get no to each other more close. The alternative by creating a green environment, as what YTL company already apply, we can see. They are, so that their employee will uh, will have a good mood in the office. So now we go to the recommendation. For the first issue, which is the disappearance of NH370 and crash of NH17, the recommendations alternative is use two-way communication. We choose two-way communication. This is because communication is the basic of every interpersonal relationship that can solve every problem in an organization. So for the second issue, which is the issue of brand image of Malaysia Airlines, so uh, we choose uh, alternative, uh, which is uh, to improve level of efficiency among employees. This is because employees are part of organization that need to enhance the credibility of company. For the third issue, which is uh, we poor customer service. The best alternative is get and feedback from customer, which is uh, we use questionnaire, give handout, or face to face interview. Based on what I say, all organization has their own issues that need to be solved, even though internal or external. Same goes to Malaysia Airlines. Their leader need to make a good decision to take the right step to solve the problem. Not just the manager, the employee also need to work together to overcome barriers that happen. Their leader need to find alternative to get back their customer. Not just to get back their customer, but uh, it also can enhance the profit of Malaysia Airlines. So, this subject, which is 
organization behavior teach us how to manage an organization and how manager can control the problem that occurs in an organization.